Kaiser, and I'd like to welcome you to another edition of PwC Newsmakers. My guest today is Patrick King, founder and CEO of Imagine Design. Patrick, Hello. thank you for coming. Thank you. All right. So, I, I interviewed you last year, yeah. and since then, I know you've been busy, and uh, I think you were just selected for a couple of boards. You want to talk about that? Yeah, yeah. Um, about a week and a half ago, I was elected to the, uh, to the board of Rick Casa. I don't know what that is. That's uh, court-appointed uh, court special advocates for children. So, say there's a, uh, there's a child that's in a hostile situation. Uh, these are people that help intervene uh -huh. and provide these, these advocates for children that, um, to help them get to a better place. Is that just in Virginia or Northern Virginia or nationwide? Or? It's, it's a nationwide organization, but uh, it, they're segmented into chapters. Mm -hmm. And the one that I've joined is the, the Prince William, Rappahannock, Fauquier, that area. Um, and I've done work for them for, for a few years now kind of behind the scenes doing the design work for their events and oh um, like evening under the stars yep. and okay i do know who you're talking about darn it yeah charlene yep charlene hansen brown, brown. Yep. Yeah. yeah yeah okay and i've done work for, for for them for a long time and uh she and i had lunch one day and she said why don't, why don't you get on our board there's a there's uh there's a there's a lot that that i want to do and this will to help provide the vehicle for it uh-huh uh, so I'm looking forward to looking forward to being a part of that a bit more than I have in the past. And coming up, uh, well, and then a week later, I was elected to the Historic Manassas Board. And I'd been involved with the Promotions Committee for about, it's about a year now. Um, and this is just going to allow me to do more stuff. And I think I've realized why, why I like doing this kind of stuff. I mean, one, my heart's in it. Um, but two, I'm a, I'm, I'm a textbook introvert, so it's hard for me to go to events and talk to people and come up with small talk and stuff like that. So, and so I feel much better if I actually have a task, yes. if I'm involved with doing something, uh -huh. instead of, instead of schmoozing, I would much rather like be behind the drinks counter. Or doing something, having some type of some type of a purpose, because I love to be involved, but I I just don't uh, um, I have I have trouble with. I'm something. married to a guy just like that. Yeah. 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 Although if you give him enough alcohol, he's quite friendly. <laughs> well, that does help. This, but I think that's what that's one of the one of the reasons why. There's also a kind of freedom when you're participating in a project as a volunteer as opposed to being paid to develop something. There's a big difference because you have you have a sort of a not only a freedom but I think you're more appreciated than you know a paid employee is just that. Someone's paid for doing a job, but when you do volunteer work, it's from your heart. You're giving something that can't be purchased. And the feeling, that's what I'm kidding you about being a serial volunteer, but I mean, I know you know me well enough to know once you get started, it's really hard to say no. It is. It is. I, um, I, find, I find a lot more purpose in doing volunteer work and stuff that, stuff that getting involved with stuff that I believe in. Um, money's great. You have to have it. Uh, when I when I started when I started the company, the, the difference between then and now is uh -huh. I just I did not I did not care for money. Just as long as I could eat, I was fine. Right. Of course, as I've gotten older, I realize okay, all right, money doesn't drive me, but I know it's important. Um, so there's a, so I, I I understand it a bit more. It doesn't mean that I'm more passionate about getting it. Uh -huh. I'm I'm honestly I'm more passionate about about helping and making a difference in places. Well, that's your niche. I mean, you're going to fit there. And, and I, I know, Rebecca, your wife, has gone to Leadership Prince William, and I, I understand that you are considering doing the same. Yeah, I, uh, I put in my application this week or last week. Last week. Good luck. I hope you're accepted because you would be an exceptional – you would fit very well there. Well, thank and, you. And, and being an introvert is perfectly all right even when you're in a crowd of 50 people because they focus – they'll bring – qualities out in you that you didn't even know you had well I've, uh, 
one of the things that I've that, that I've learned over the years about introverts is it's really you can be driven, you can be ambitious, and not be outspoken and mm-hmm. not not show it openly. Um, if if in my case, if I've got a purpose, if I've got a direction, if I've got a goal. Or if I'm even having a conversation about a topic that I'm either passionate or knowledgeable about, then I'll talk your ears off. But it's it, but what gets me is when we're talking about things that when we're talking about you know, you know politics or the weather or something. Mm-hmm. That's boring, and that's that's really when I start to clam up. Or when you have those you know those drops in conversation, those those little pauses, they're totally natural. But when they happen. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's when that's when I. I you ever heard I'm, that phrase? Nature abhors a vacuum. That's my niche because I'm I can't stand it. If there's a pause there, I feel like I, I'm like compelled to do something about it. I gotta fix that. It's empty. Let me fix it. It, it isn't it weird when you're when you're riding in a car with somebody like a coworker or something. Not necessarily family, but when you're in a car with a coworker or somebody that you don't uh, you don't know very well, and that quiet hits. It's it is a vacuum. I don't know. I never heard. I mean, <laughs> pretty sure I never experienced it. Maybe somebody else wanted to, but <laughs> it just didn't happen. Well, you need to ride around cars and move more often. <laughs> so tell me what's new with Imagine Design. What's um, where's the business going? It's growing. It is. It is. We just moved into Old Town Manassas on April first. Mm-hmm. Um. We moved from a smaller space, about 900 square feet, um, to a place where we felt like we we're, were, were working on top of each other, to 3,000 square feet, wow. where it's it's now, it's big, it's cavernous, we don't have enough furniture to fill it. <laughs> um, when we got everything in there, everything was moved in from the old place. It still looked like we hadn't moved in yet. Uh-huh. Because the, the team is used to working real close together. So they just picked one part of the space, and now they work there, and there's all this open room. But that's a good thing, because uh, <laughs> one of the things that we plan on doing there, and we've already done it once, is having classes. Uh-huh. Uh, where we, you know, in the evening, it'll be you know, one or two hours, and we'll go over email marketing, social media, uh, search engine optimization, uh, a number of different facets of marketing and stuff that we do behind the scenes, so that uh, solopreneurs, real small business owners, can get an idea of how to do it for themselves. Because they're not in a position to hire anybody yet. They don't right. have a budget. So this is a great opportunity for them to figure out what it's about and how they can make it work for themselves. Um, and we now have the big space for it. Uh, we're going to start promoting it in the fall. We don't see any sense in doing it in the summer. And we've got our, because in the summer, you know, people are either, uh, they're either on vacation physically or on vacation mentally. Um, I know I am. Um, but in the fall, people are starting to get back to work. They're knuckling down. Yeah. You know, they'll, they'll focus. Uh, Tuesday, we're having our ribbon cutting. And uh, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh-huh. A lot of cleaning up. We've got to hurry up and get all the stuff on the walls that we've been, we've been putting off. Yeah. Um, but that's going to, that's going to be a good time. Uh, but I'm really excited about doing the classes. We did one on Google about a month ago and had a, had a few people turn out and that was, that was pretty good. Do you use Google Hangouts to do that or? Um, we, in that case for that event, yeah, we did use Google. Cause Google you can Hangouts. do that for up to 10, right? Free for up yeah. to 10. Yeah. yeah. And in, and in our case. If we have a room that's filled up, mm-hmm. then we can bring in experts from you know around the D.C. area or mm-hmm. around the world, and they can come in, and we can almost have like a panel situation where 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 we can teach a bit, they can teach a bit, and um, and it's it, it's a great way to, to to pack the room with experts. That's a really that's an extraordinary gift for um, startup businesses and not for profits, and they're so much need for social media ex- expansion of skills in social media for startup businesses you just can't start up without it, it no. you 
you're in oblivion. If you can't handle Twitter and LinkedIn and Facebook and Google Plus, then you're just not having it. You are a big fan of Google Plus, aren't you? Oh yeah. 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 Because yeah. Well, <clears throat> because one, it's 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 great for search. And and two, um, it's it's an, another vehicle to promote through, and it's surprising how many people are actually paying attention. Uh, they say that it's that it's a void; nobody's on there. The only people that are on Google Plus are people that work at Google, you know, that sort of thing. But the truth, of the truth of the matter is, there is an audience there. You know what I read just the other day? You know who is on Google Plus? Who? The smart people. Smart people are on Google Plus. The not so smart people, they're not on Google Plus, but the smart people are on there. That's I think, what I, I, think I read that. I think that's marketing. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but if you're not using social media, then you're probably using PR. Uh, you know, you're trying to get press releases out and stuff like that. You're trying to try, and while while PR is still very powerful. Just picking that, you know, just trying to get into papers and trade magazines and things like that. It's just, well, there's a better way. I think that PR still has a place in the world, but it really has to be handled by a professional because mm -hmm. there's, there's so few outlets, you know, news media, television media, radio media. There's so few places for you to get in. If you don't know somebody that can get your content loaded, then you're just, that's not going to happen. You can, no. you know, I could email I don't know, WTOP for the rest of my life. And that's not going to happen for me. But if, if, if Asha does it, mm -hmm. the chances are really good that, that that's going to show up on there. But social media is something you can do for yourself if you have the skills to do that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm, yeah. All, I'm all for that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's going to be a... Uh, I'm glad that I'm, I'm able to, to do this for, for a small business. I wish, that, I wish it was around when I was... And I, when I was just starting out, um, and I was actually what gave me the idea was the the chamber does this uh, business academy thing, mm -hmm. and we presented there a couple times. We did the first, we did their first season, and we did just a, a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and that's that's kind of what we're going to do in our space. Only it's going to be targeted to one specific part of digital marketing each time mm -hmm. uh, we're tinkering around with the idea of doing like a dojo concept right so okay so we have eight different classes or however many many belts there are I don't know I'm lousy at this but <laughs> so please don't pick a fight with me um, <laughs> but there's the, for each class you finish you get a colored belt uh -huh. all the way up to black belt and it, and you know we, we could have like little lions of word on or something. But anyway, but anyway, you make it through that, and then you could be you know black belt marketer or something like that. I don't, I don't In know. case the audience doesn't know, the little lion is pertinent because that's your logo. Yeah, yeah you don't just you just didn't pick a zoo animal. No, no, no. <laughs> um, no, but it's it's gonna. Um, I think we might incorporate that somehow. Uh, but I did like what what the chamber was doing, and actually for the uh, for the last business academy session we had, I got called out of town like two days before, uh -huh. and it was supposed to be my developer and I were going to go in, we're going to teach WordPress, and I get called out of town, so we had to figure out on the fly how I was going to be there without you know when I, when I was down in North Carolina, so I figured out okay I'm going to go in through a Google Hangout. So it's going to be my big face on the screen for a very limited amount of time. So I switched over to the presentation, but I was able to I was able to teach my part, uh -huh. you know, through the through the Google Hangout, and then Andrew did his part in person, uh -huh. uh, and that was a great way to test out the whole Google Hangout thing. Just find out how how powerful it is and how easy to use it is. Because so I was in a hotel room with you know lousy Wi-Fi, and it went off great. Yeah. So if you can do that there, you can really do it anywhere. We've worked on, uh, Bill Golden has worked on some uh, teleconferences. We use like Cisco and um, um, I can't think who else, but he's tried two or three different things. But I think Google Hangout for for the size group that, you know, it's dependent on the size, but I think it works every bit as well or better. It's certainly less complicated yeah. to just, you know, <laughs> ding. 
yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's it, it's it's really really easy to use, yeah. and maybe we'll do a class just on that. Yeah, showing people how to how to do trainings and things, and yeah. show presentations with it. Well, I'd be interested in that because you can never learn too much. And and one interesting thing about all social media is that no matter how many classes you take or from how many different people you take, you, there's something new to be learned from every one because it. One for one reason, it's constantly evolving, mm-hmm. and and I, I am enamored of all things Google. I just, I mean, I I can't believe that there's so much out there for free that people can have access to if they just knew how to do it, if mm-hmm. they just knew how to use it. Oh yeah. Our um, I, I guess I shouldn't name the group, but one group that I belong to has been in existence for like mm, twenty five years. And they they had no uh, they have a website, but it's very um, mm, looking for good words plain Jane. It doesn't okay. have no graphics, no uh, and there's a lot of content and it's very well organized, but it's just like boring as dirt, you know. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> I want so bad. Let me help you. I, I know we could do something with that. There's a um, there's an article that just went out last week that I was fortunate enough to contribute to, and it was about UI design, user inter- user interface design. Yeah, I and, went up that. Oh, you did. <laughs> but, it, but it talked exactly about exactly what 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 you're mentioning about about you can have great content. Content is boring. Okay, it's all about the delivery. Um, you can talk about something that can be so mind numbing so esoteric but you can make it interesting in in just tweaking its presentation mm-hmm. by making it visually appealing and you know guiding the reader and stuff instead of just text x x x x even twitter i saw the other day that you know, the proportion of tweets that are read is like 80 percent higher if you post a picture with it mm-hmm. which is kind of depressing because the whole thing about twitter that i love is it's so it's fast little, yeah. yeah now i found myself i'm out there hunting for just the right picture to go with that one little tweet so it's the it's the same thing across all of them yeah uh facebook linkedin all of them that uh, if there's an image on there you have at least um an 80 percent increase in visibility and activity yeah it's, it, it's and i and i figured it would be video but the fact of the matter is you know so, when somebody's on their phone and they're um they're on a train or they're outside mm-hmm. you can't really hear it too well can't see it very well it's pictures that's what does it well that's one of the things that we learned doing these productions and could, because we used to do like 30 minute one fellow we actually had to have a two-parter it was so long but you know reading the the length of time that people focus on a on a video it's it's really kind of depressing because you know they've already turned us off now <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, the only people that are watching this now are me and you. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good thing we got family. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, is there anything else you want to cover today, or? Well, I, I was going to start asking more about what you were up to. Oh really? No, yeah. we don't talk about that on camera, though. Okay. Right. Well, nobody's watching anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm going to come to your open house. Um, Please. On the 24th. Yes. Twenty mm-hmm. fourth at four p.m. at Imagine. Yep. Headquarters. Um, uh, Malone's of Manassas is going to be catering. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, and we've got uh, champagne, ping pong, video games, you know, all the serious stuff. So it should be it should be a very formal, stuffy time. Ping pong is that like? Um, hmm. I was thinking more like just pong. Oh, this is table tennis. <laughs> yep. Yep. We've got we've got the big conference table. We got we have C clamps with a screen up. So yeah. So maybe maybe with the whiteboard we'll do a little tournament or something. The winner gets I don't know a high five. I don't really know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> maybe they get a a belt with a rip, with a uh, lion on it. Maybe they will. Yeah. Maybe I'll sign their a good shirt. Start. Okay. Well, listen. Have... Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you. I really enjoyed talking to you. And um, thank you for joining us, and I hope we'll see you again next time on pwcnews.us.